Welcome back to the Sean McDermott Show. It's time to look back at the tape from the Bills' huge road game in Kansas City with our good buddy Eric Wood. E, what stood out to you in this huge win over the Chiefs? Well, the Bills played maybe their best complimentary football of the entire season, especially at the end of this game. The Bills punt the ball to the Chiefs and Von Miller sacks Patrick Mahomes to force the ball back to Buffalo. We saw some Josh Allen runs, mix, uh, eat up some clock, and then a good pass to Diggs, and then also that game winner to Dawson Knox. The Chiefs then get the ball back and everyone's worried, is Patrick Mahomes going to do it again? And no, Von Miller, Mavilano create the pressure, Taron Johnson makes the interception, and we'll take a look at it here. Let's start on the defensive side of the ball with Von Miller. This is his second sack of the game, and this is why Brandon went out and got the guy. What'd you see here? Yeah, from the second they signed Von Miller, they said it's because we want him to be a closer. And the Bills for a lot of this game were just doing a three-man rush in obvious pass situations, but they have Milano walked up over the guard. They're going to slide the center to the left. That's where the two D linemen are. Well, Milano is going to hold the right guard, Trey Smith, and, and Von Miller is going to have a one-on-one -on -one against Andrew Wiley. Ends up making him fall on his face, and Von gets the sack of Patrick Mahomes to force the punt. So the Bills get the ball back with 5.31 to play, and Dorsey called on his best guys to make some plays. After a few completions, Josh hit Diggs for 18 yards to get into field goal range. Break this one down. Yeah, McKenzie's going to hold Bolton in the middle, and Quinn Morris is going to chip the defensive end on his way out, and then he's going to head and pull that flat defender out. It's going to leave an open window for Josh to find Diggs. Diggs makes a great catch, comes down with the ball, and this was a nice game. And on the very next play, they call Josh's number on a quarterback sweep for 16 yards. This is the one everybody's talking about. Take me through it. So we've seen this in the past from the Bills, but I don't believe we've seen this play call yet this season. The Bills like running this play in crucial situations, and it's basically a pin and pull out of an empty set. You don't often see designed runs like this out of an empty, but you get the fake jet motion, the fake jet sweep, and then Josh is gonna run a sweep out to the right with Quisenberry leading the way out front, kind of runs a no hitter all the way through, but Josh is gonna hurdle Reed. And this hurdle play by Josh, Josh is making this famous. He, he did it early on in his career with he hurdled Anthony Barr and he continues to do it now in year five. And he hurdles Justin Reed there for just a phenomenal play. Yeah, and as you alluded to earlier, a few plays later, Josh connected with Dawson Knox for the game winning score. Break this one down. What a beauty it was. This play starts with great protection. Josh has all day to throw this football. And Josh is sitting back there pointing in the pocket. When I was watching this live, I was wondering if he was trying to direct maybe Dawson Knox back to the uprights where it's wide open in the middle of the field. But I don't know if he was messing with the safety. I don't know exactly why or where Josh was pointing to, but he ends up throwing an absolute laser just as Dawson Knox is breaking out. And Dawson Knox has been through so much this year. It was so great to see him come down with the game winning catch. The Chiefs got the ball back, needing a touchdown with just over a minute left when Taron Johnson came up with another huge interception to seal the game. What did you see here? So again, this is a three-man rush. The Bills know that Mahomes likes to scramble to his right. So with this three-man rush, Matt Milano knows as soon as Von Miller makes this inside rush, as soon as he gets an edge on Wiley, Mahomes has to scramble to his right. As soon as he does, Milano breaks on him. Well, Mahomes doesn't want to take that sack there, and so it forces him to get rid of the ball sidearm because of that. Mahomes even said after the game, the sidearm throw took some velocity off of it and allowed Taron Johnson to get in there and make the play, come up with the game-winning interception. Great stuff as always, Eric. Thanks for this. We'll catch up with you next week to break down the Bills' next game against the Green Bay Packers. Looking forward to it, Steve.